Okay guys, what's up? I am back, but this is going to be kind of a longer video. If you guys haven't noticed in some of my YouTube short videos, I've had all these cubes in the background because I've, I'm, I'm of course a cuber. And I've been collecting them, but I haven't really been making any videos on them. Because sometimes I want to do videos, sometimes I don't like my main channel. Not my cubing channel, my gaming video channel. I uploaded videos, but I did not do it often. So I kind of took a long break from YouTube, and I have all these cubes. So I'm going to unbox all of them. And we're going to start off with the lamest one, which is this. It doesn't even have a box. I don't know where I got it, but I did lube it, and... It has lots of lockups, but besides that, it turns pretty decently. Like, it's not a bad small cube. I don't know where I got it, how I got it. I think my brother gave it to me, but I peel all the white stickers off because why the heck not? I like black. I'm not racist. Don't copyright strike me. But, yeah, this is it. It turns pretty well, but it literally does not corner cut. Like, watch this corner cutting right here. This is the minimum corner cutting. Okay, it does that. Okay, and it caps out right there. That's where it caps out. Reverse corner cutting. Right, right, right there. Yeah, pretty bad cube. Okay, next cube. Okay, so our next one, we're going to do my main 3x3 three three right now, which is the Tornado V2 Cubers Home version. This is the Magnetic Core version, exclusively off of the cubicle. And right off the bat, very, uh, crap my light, very premium unboxing look. And this, it, it just looks really, really premium, like a good flag flagship cube I cannot speak okay I need to figure out a place to move all these dumb boxes okay so we got the cube and its case in the accessory box and we'll check in this first and it has like this nice leathery bag to it it feels really good unlike the GAN bags which are kind of soft and fuzzy but what else we got in here? We got a thing on how to adjust the tensioning. I hate this light because when I tap it, it turns off. But it's all in Chinese, so I hope you can read Chinese. But, yeah, it's that. And then we got this magnetic screwdriver right here. And cube cleaner cloth thing. But this is... I really like it, and I already broke it. This, one of the magnets fell out, and I got my pocket knife and tried to cut it out, because I got one stuck in the wrong way when I put it back in. So, if you couldn't tell, I'm out. Oh, and this magnet fell out too, right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I am very good with just everything. I like to fix things, and I totally did not break my friend's cube. At church one time we don't talk about that that's all the accessories get all the boring stuff out of the way and now we have the cube this thing oh my goodness it is the most oh it, it is so good but first let's look at the tensioning I have it all on one right now so I have let's see if we can focus Okay, sorry for that long pause, but I have it on one right here, and I have this on one because I just like it that way. I like looser cubes more than tighter cubes, and the magnets I have all on max. So, corner cutting is not the greatest, like, it can't do right there. It goes to about right there and then reverse corner cutting is about right here but corner cutting you know it's fine realistically you're not going to corner cut right here in the middle of, of a solve that doesn't happen that often but turning speed I don't know how to explain it it is so 
just this heavenly feel to it. Like, it's so smooth. And the magnets, oh my goodness. I love this thing so much. I've been using it for about a month or two. And it is, mm, it is so good. Okay, next cube. Gans cube M. This is not the enhanced version. It is just the normal version. And we're just going to get right into it. And it has this classic clear Gan cube case. And then we got this plan fit. <laughs> I cannot speak. Plan. Okay, I'm just not even going to say. It. I, I don't want to. Okay, I'm not just. Okay, but it has this right here. And we got this tensioning thing to tension your cube with. And we got a Gan bag. Classic Gan bag. Now we're on to the cube. Now, this cube, it's pretty good. I do like it overall. I am not the greatest at cube, and I don't think I really need magnets on the sides right here. It has core magnets. I don't want to open it up because I do not like putting apart, I mean, putting back together cubes. They, it's, it's just not fun to do. And also, by the way, I'm thinking about getting some lubrical speedy, speedy soon, but I use GAN lube right now because it's a more control feel to the lube. It's not insanely fast, but it's more of like a slow down control. And I, I really like that. But this, I don't know how to explain it. It's really good. Skew is really easy. This was only $21. I would 100% recommend it because it is like a really good skew and I don't think you'll be like one of the uh, world record pro S cubes. So this is a perfect cube for about anyone. So let's go on to the next one. And we got the MGC Mega Mix. This thing, I'm seriously gonna throw this lamp across the room. Oh my goodness. Okay, so right here, we got it. And it comes with some extra springs and screws. No, springs and magnets. And yeah, that's about it for that. And then right here, nothing else. And we got this. And I really do just love everything about this. It is a great starter Mega Minx. It's not nearly as good as the Gan Mega Minx, which I don't have. But I'm planning on getting. But this is just... The magnets aren't, they could, the magnets could be stronger, but I'm not going to complain about, about that. Turning speed, everything else is just so, so amazing about it. I love it. I don't know why I'm messing up this Y perm so insanely bad. Can I even, there we go. Okay, yeah. Mega Minx, overall, it is good. I have the Gam Loop in it, of course. I have all my, all my cubes in tensioning. Yeah, yeah, it's just a classic screw. I don't really know why I took that off at all. And, yeah, that is about it for that. Corner cutting, though, it's not the greatest corner cutting, like, at all. I think that might be just because I have it super tight, but that's about it for this Mega Minx. Next up on the list, we got the MGC Square One. This is a pretty super boring unboxing. It comes with a cube right here that I think was wrapped in plastic and this. And basically what this is right here, I think it's just was the black tiles that I switched out. And then it came with this, no, sorry, that's not in camera. I'm bad at. Wait, ba okay. Basically, it just had these black things in here, and it had a screwdriver. That was it for that. And this square one, it is very good. I like it. It's not as good as the X Man Volt Two, but what did I just do? But it's very, very good. I just do an algorithm on here real quick. Okay, okay. No, do not do that. I'm not the greatest at square one, if you can't tell. But, I can do it. And also, by the way, 
Shout out to Cubehead, even though I'm not sponsored by the Cubicle or by Cubehead. But I I have a bunch of Cubehead stickers on all my cubes because I like Cubehead. It's like one of my favorite cubing YouTubers. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can fix this. See how good, Okay, yeah. What did I do? Let's just like see if I can fix this right here, okay? Because I need to show you guys how cracked I am at square one. And we just do that. We have that done. Then we got a J perm. Mmm. J perm on square one. That is just. Don't even know how to do it. But it annoys me when I write whenever I have that like corner thing sticking out. But we're just gonna do it the non J perm way because I don't know the algorithm for that. And hopefully we don't get parity. Sim quite simple algorithm and wait hold on there we go I am decent at square one beginner but you know really good square one square one mechanics are super weird like if you look in there there's all that weird maze crap in there I don't know but yeah good square one the x-man volt is better but if you're going for a cheaper price I would get this bad boy Okay, we're going to do these two at the same time because they're both Chi toys and I accidentally got this in stickered and I'll show you about that in a second, but we're going to just open them both up because literally the unboxing has nothing to it. Literally, boom, boom. And then there's a pamphlet, pamphlet thingy that I threw away, but yeah, that's the quite intense unboxing right there, but first we're going to go off with the 4x4, I got the cube sticker on there, of course, and it's quite good, I guess, it has lots of lockups and I get some pops on it, like if I really wanted to turn fast, I'd get something like that, and it's not the greatest 4x4, I'm thinking about getting the X-Men Ambition at some point if I really want to get deeper into 4x4 and learn some more algs for that. But magnets are really strong in the middle and not so strong on the outside, which is the opposite for this one right here. Because this one, strong magnets on the outside and on the inside, it's not too strong. And then, fun fact about this corner piece right here. So when I made my video about me popping the 5x5, and it was 5x5 Rubik's Cube fail, I was putting it back together. And I don't know why, but I was on my last corner piece right here, and I tried to shove it in there. And the bottom of the corner piece came off, and the corner piece split into two. So I had to go downstairs in my basement and put it on this jack thing, and put Gorilla Glue on it, and put it back together. So it's not insanely fast right now, but you know, that's fine. I also have a sticker missing. And stickers are peeling up. And I have some chips and some stickers, like, right there. So, definitely would not recommend stickered cubes. They're just kind of annoying. But otherwise, than me complaining about stickered cubes, the turning is actually pretty good on this 5x5. Definitely way better than 4x4, I'd say. Like, it's not... A bad 5x5 five five. and like M moves on this is not bad either I just kind of messed that up because I'm not that great at end moves on big cubes but people try to avoid that anyway so that's for these two right here this one is not the greatest you could get a YJ little magic you don't really need this one but this one definitely I would recommend. But if you're going for like $10 more, get the YJ MGC 5x5. Flagship cube, amazing, only $10 more. And that's it for these. And now we're down to one, but I kind of already unboxed this one, so we're just gonna get that out of here. I already did that one. And our GAN Pyramix. This, I literally had a video made and edited, and I never uploaded it because the video got corrupted. But we're doing it now. So, Pyramix, real simple unboxing. It's got this bag in here, GAN bag, who cares about that? And we got more tensioning crap. 
Okay, but besides that, we got the actual cube itself, and just like this cube, it does have those core pieces in there, and I don't know what the heck just happened to the lighting, but that's really weird. We're going to ignore that. And this is a very, sorry about that, this is a very good appearance. Like, I honestly love it so much. This is, I don't know why there's magnets in this top one. Like, it, I, don't, I don't understand sometimes about Rubik's Cubes, but this is a good pyramid. I really like the turning on it, and this is a really simple, easy puzzle. It's not hard, and this pyramid is only 20 bucks. so if you are, like, competitively wanting to do pyramid, get the Little Magic or the Gan, or... I don't know, those two are like the best pyramids. Or the X-Man Bell V2. That also, that is good. And so, that's all the cubes we got. So, I guess that's it. So, wait, no, crap, I forgot. We have one more. The Rubik's Impossible. Oh my goodness. Okay, yes, this is kind of a long box. So, we're just going to this out right here and it's kind of weird because it like comes out like oh my gosh comes out like that and so we got this quite simple unboxing literally that's it to the unboxing and this thing normal Rubik's brand turning but I did put some lube in it and it does turn quite good. It's just bad corner cutting. Like, really bad corner cutting. It cannot do this for heaven's sake. But reverse corner cutting caps out about right there. Yeah. This thing, it's not too hard to solve. If you go on rubix.com and print out one of these. And it's six... It's one page, and you cut these all out, and it shows you, like, which piece goes where. So, like, this right here, it's yellow and blue. This is yellow and blue, red and yellow, red and yellow. So, it, like, tells you which pieces need to go where, so you don't end up with weird parodies that you thought the piece went, but it didn't. And so, that's it for this. It's a really fun challenge. Like, if you're not in, if you don't really want to speed cube much, and you just want to do, like, some puzzle solving, like, real challenges, get this. It is quite the challenge, especially if you do not know how to solve a 3x3, three three, then it's going to be... <laughs> but, anyways, do not forget, we do have one cube left and yes i do have a gam 11 m pro kind of you'll see in like two seconds it's kind of broken but i'm just going to tell you guys a story to that it's kind of a longish story and you'll probably think i'm done i mean dumb i've already took all of the magnets out of these and stuff but i'll just get on with it this story so one day, I am being dumb me, and I decide that I'm struggling in F2L, so I'll get a Sharpie and draw the outer edges of all my F2L and cross pieces, and I think it's a great idea, and it did. It did work. It just looked absolutely terrible and ruined the look of my cube, so I have my Gain 11 M Pro, and pretend this is a Gain 11 M Pro. Okay, never mind, I don't want to find the core piece. But, let's pretend this is it. And I go and I wash it off. I take all the pieces apart, I wash it off with soap and water, and that does not interfere with any of these pieces right here. All these pieces are perfectly fine, kind of. But I have all these wet pieces, and I'm like, what the heck? How, how am I going to dry this? I don't want to do this. I'm a lazy kid. And so, I go, and I... But before we continue on with the story, we need to realize that earlier that morning, I dropped my dad's RS3 in 2020 
in syrup when I was eating pancakes. And so he went upstairs and he washed that cube the same way I did and got a hair dryer, put it on the cold setting. Key word, cold. And dried it off. That's how he dried all the pieces off. And his cube works perfectly fine now. RS3M 2020, great cube. If you're a starter, I would 100% recommend it. It's only $9, $14 on Amazon. Great cube. But anyways, that happened. And so I go back. I have my flashback and I'm like, wait, my dad washed it with a hairdryer. Me, being the dumb self I am, my dumb self that I am, I go and I have absolutely zero experience with ha hair dryers. So I do not know that they get up to this extreme heat that they get to. And I put all my pieces down on this one towel. I put it up in a corner. I get the hair dryer, put it on the hottest setting because I think that it's the quickest setting. And I start drying it for about 20, 30 seconds. And my result is the corner pieces and the edge pieces have deformed. Let's see if we can focus on this to where they don't fit in the cube anymore because it has melted the appearance of the corners. So let's see if we can find a good example here in one of these pieces. Right here, it has melted this and it's melted the shape of this to where that. It, it, it was just a complete disaster. Right here we have another one. It, it was just sad. So, the only really good thing I got out of my Gain 11 Pro was this thing. $80 Rubik's Cube case with a $40 Rubik's Cube. Ultimate flex right there. But the Tornado, I'm honest, I honestly liked it. I like it more than the Gain 11 Pro. Like, it's just so smooth that it just doesn't even compare to the Gain like, this is, I mean, the GAN doesn't even compare to this. This is just so amazing. But, yeah. So, basically, got an $80 Rubik's Cube case. And I have this. So, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. But, I don't know when that will be. Might be in a, in a year. Who knows. I'm not that great at YouTube. I don't have a good schedule. So, see ya.